Ashley, last year in Buffalo alone, first responders had to use Narcan 700 times to save people's lives. And they did that again today in this parking lot here on West Genesee Street when a man overdosed on heroin and crashed his car into a parked car across the street. We don't know just yet if he'll be charged, but we do know that the woman who overdosed in the Cheekdawaga Police Station parking lot will not be prosecuted, and that's because of the Good Samaritan Law. Chickawaga police and paramedics can be seen using Narcan to save a woman's life after she overdosed on heroin in the police parking lot Wednesday. According to investigators, someone saw the woman lose consciousness in her car and called 911. But 7 Eyewitness News has learned she won't be charged because of penal law section 220.78 or what New York State calls being a good Samaritan. Saving lives is far, far, far more important than prosecuting somebody for a minor drug offense. That's why acting Erie County District Attorney Michael Flaherty says the Good Samaritan law was passed. The law says when 911 is called for a medical emergency, neither the caller nor the patient will be charged for a controlled substance offense. Billboards around Buffalo read, see an overdose? Call 911. The Good Samaritan law protects you. Or is it actually perpetuating the problem in some instances? The legislature has decided that saving lives is more important than charging someone with a crime. And I don't disagree with that. When it comes to Narcan, in Buffalo alone last year, first responders used the drug roughly 700 times. Our cameras were rolling again today, this time in downtown Buffalo, when a driver suffered an apparent opioid overdose and crashed into a parked car. Heroin needles were taken from the car as first responders used Narcan to revive the man. It's Unclear if charges will be filed in this case. The Good Samaritan law is supposed to take fear of arrest out of the equation. It's designed to help people, designed to save lives. Now, when officers respond to a Good Samaritan call, they do confiscate drugs and other contraband, and the Good Samaritan law does not apply if you're already being paroled on a drug charge. For now, reporting live in Buffalo, Jill Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.